September is Emergency Preparedness Month. This video is part of the 30 Days of Preparedness series, which is a collab between the following YouTube channels. Sutton's Days, Rogue Preparedness, Mouse Toes, Provident Preppers, Mama Bear Preparedness, The Urban Prepper, City Prepper, Ethical Preparedness, Iridium 242, The Happy Prepper, and of course, me, Prepper Potpourri. Be sure to watch all the videos in the series. Well, I know it's no news to all of you that natural disasters seem to be increasing. Currently we have the devastating wildfires in California and then there are hurricanes like Laura which was a category 4 when it hit Louisiana and floods like the one uh, earlier this year in Michigan when the Edenville and Sanford dams broke and just a couple weeks ago North Carolina had a 5.1 quake and of course there's always the worry about the possibility of the big one in California. And we see landslides and mudslides. And there are some not so natural disasters, such as oil train derailment resulting in fire in Saskatchewan that caused the entire nearby town to evacuate because of the air pollution. And of course, chemical spills and gas leaks. So often this means that people have to flee their homes on foot or by their vehicle. And their life would be a lot easier after fleeing if they had a grab-and-go bag. Maybe your grab-and-go bag is a backpack like this. Not everybody uses a backpack for a grab-and-go. For people who the bag is maybe too heavy or they just know they can't carry it well, you know what? A roller bag is just fine, right? You can easily roll it and roll it back and it doesn't strain on your back. So, think of a roller bag luggage also. In some cases, your grab and go is going to be a vehicle kit. And this is the Canadian Preppers bag, and it works great for storing all your prepping supplies right in your car. And also, if you're interested, I have a video on a very lightweight kit that really packs a punch for survival. And I even have a way that you can wear a fisherman or photographer's vest and keep it equipped with all the supplies you need but make it much easier to hike instead of again having that weight on your back. So check out those videos too. I'll link them below and hopefully in either corner here I'll have a link. So it's up to you to use a backpack, a rolling bag, a vehicle kit. It doesn't matter as long as you have a kit and you have the right items in it. So let's talk about those items. Today I'm going to go over some of the things that I think are essential, what you have to have in a bag. So let's start with water, right? We all know we need it. We need even more of it if we're hiking. And of course we might be carrying it in a water bottle. But to carry enough that you need for 24 hours or 36 hours, can get pretty darn heavy. So some of you might have backpacks that have the bladder in the back, you know, the little tube so you can take a drink when you want. But you should also think of water for purification methods. Uh, these are two different liquids. This is the uh, portable aqua. You also can get purification tablets. And what I think everybody should have is their own personal water filter. You can see by this one, it takes up hardly any space at all. Before you use it, of course, you'd like to filter the water you get because otherwise these can clog up quickly. But think of water first. So next, I think you have to think about fire. And, oops, there we go. A Bic lighter is great for that, but I would ha recommend having at least one, if not two extra. This can help build a fire to keep you warm or to boil water so you can drink it or even to make your food. It's really important to have a fire source. Now, of course, if you're into bushcrafting, 
they'll say you have to have a ferro rod. And you might want to take that. Again, it doesn't take up much space. This is my little fire kit that goes with it that has various things to help start a fire. But in reality, your lighter, your Bic lighter to me, makes the most sense. Next thing you have to think about is shelter. Maybe you only have room for a space blanket. Okay, at least put it in there. That will help. Maybe you have room for a tarp. This is a nice tarp and you, I have cordage that I can make a nice shelter with it. So I include this tarp in my kit. Now if you have room and they come smaller than this for shelter, also include a bivy. This is an SOL bivy and it is heat reflective and this is breathable so you don't end up having condensation inside the bag. But again, lightweight, doesn't take up too much room, but there are even smaller bivvies available and it's great to give you shelter. And you might just have room for a tube tent, but at least it's giving you some kind of protection. Or maybe you have room for a whole tent. Whatever you have, make sure you have some kind of protection. And you also want some protection from the elements, usually at least a poncho to keep the rain off you so you can be more comfortable if you have to hike somewhere. Now something else that's really important little portable radio. Again, look at this. Just a little bit bigger in my hand. Does not take up much room, but this can keep you in contact. Find out uh, what's going on with the weather, what's going on with relief uh, efforts. Again, make sure you have spare batteries so this can work and continue to work. You should have some kind of protection, be it a knife. And of course, this knife is more than just for protection. It can scrape off little pieces of wood to help start your fire. It could uh, fillet your fish. I mean, there's a lot of different things as a saw like on this side, but it could also be a weapon. And of course, you could carry pepper spray or a gun, whatever you feel fits in your pack and is the safest for you. Now something you also need is cash and you want it in lower denominations but you also want enough to pay for I think three nights lodging in a hotel uh, and maybe gas money because you don't know will your debit card work, will your visa card work, might not, might not be able to get money out of the ATM. So that's when cash becomes king and it's important to have a cash stash in your grab and go bag. Of course something to include in that bag is make sure you grab your cell phone. You know this is a communication device, it can be a GPS device, it can be an informational device, it can be an entertainment device, but it's important as long as the cell towers are working include your cell phone and when you're grabbing and going Grab your wallet and grab extra house keys and car keys, any prescription meds, and prescription glasses. And talking about prescription meds, if you are on some, take the bottle, you know, the one that says what pharmacy and the dosage and that, and have an empty bottle with you too. So just in case you need to refill a prescription in a different drugstore, you have some information on your drug. Now, one more thing to include in that bag is at least copies of your health insurance card, your driver's license, birth certificate, you know, important information. Just in case you forgot your wallet or your wallet isn't available, at least you have that information with you. Now, I think it's good to laminate it, but if you don't have a laminator, then just put at least in a Ziploc bag to keep it safe from any water damage. Now one more thing to talk about with that basic bag is, you know, part of it depends on the weather. Sure, if I was going outside right now, it's in the high 70s, 
Uh, I'd want that rain poncho and maybe a sweatshirt for night, right? But what happens if it's the middle of January and you have to flee your home? In that case, I suggest putting your bag right in the hook next to your winter clothing, be it your parka, your hat, your gloves, your boots, all of that. So if you do have to depart quickly, you have the right weather protection clothing with you. I think that's very, very important. Now you might say, hey, in your basic bag, I never saw you mention anything about food. And that's because you can go 24 hours, even 36 hours without any food. And believe me, you'll live, you'll be fine. But if you've got the room, like I put in these new Millennium food bars, I think they have 400 calories. Yeah, 400 calories in this little bar, and they really don't taste that bad either. But you don't have to buy special food bars. Put in your favorite granola bars or other th munchies that you like. You know, peanut butter, those little tubs, that's great with some Ritz crackers. Whatever, but if you want to provide yourself with food, these are a great way to go, or the other options that I gave you. Okay, something I really highly encourage you to include if you have room. This is the Ravo Power uh, charger for your cell phone. I think this will charge my phone completely three different times. Yeah, it's a little heavy, but believe me, having a cell phone that works is really, really important. And the other thing to include in your bag is an extra plug-in cord for your cell phone so you can charge it that way. But I really recommend having a cell phone charger and having the important numbers that you always call in your family and doctor, hospital, that type of information with you. Now talking about navigation, maybe your phone doesn't work or you're out of cell phone GPS range. It's a good idea to have a compass and know how to use it and to have local maps in your area. In this bag, I have maps of the county and the state. And I also have a list of important numbers that I always call just in case my cell phone doesn't work. You know what? My memory doesn't work very well either. I don't remember numbers now because I just push a button, right? So I have them here just in case. I also think it's a great idea to keep some first aid supplies. I have this little kit, I call it my hiking kit, and it's in a nice little double zip bag here. And I have some aspirin to go, um, some medicinal honey, a lot of band-aids, and super glue, and some absorbent pads. So just a nice thing to have, and with it, I have just this little case and it has a variety of over-the-counter medicine, you know, anti-diarrhea, uh, anti-pain, anti-allergy, that type of thing. And again, it doesn't take up much room and it's very, very light. In addition to the first aid, you may want to include something like this. It has sunscreen, which if you would have to do some unexpected hiking and you're pale like I am, sunscreen comes in handy but it also has bug spray, which again, depending on the time of the year that you might have to hoof it, wow, mosquitoes and black flies can make your life miserable. So bug spray is a good idea. And then there's some hand sanitizer in it. And of course, nowadays, you want a mask, right? At least a couple. And if you can get an N95 mask, if you can find one anywhere, very, very important, especially for wildfires where the air pollution is so heavy. An N95 dust mask can really, really come in handy. Something else, we're talking about sun protection. Good idea to have some kind of protection for your eyes. This is important in the summer, but also in the winter because you can get snow blindness with the sun reflecting off the snow into your eyes. So, have a pair of shades. Also, you might like a hygiene kit. Uh, this is mine. It has some floss, sanitary pads, uh, a comb, a little shampoo, soap, 
one of those towels that if you add water it gets bigger that type of thing again pretty light doesn't take up a lot of room and it's double ziploc bagged and you might want to include some TP or Charmin fresh to go always a good idea and again I recommend a multi-tool can come in handy for a variety of reasons this is a SOG tool has a lot of different tools on it great little wrench here but it is heavy so you have to decide do you have room for it and can you afford the heft but there are many smaller micro multi tools too so you should be able to find one that meets your needs have some paper a sharpie and a pen and no you don't need a special space pen that will write anywhere I have found that Bix do a pretty good job but you might have to leave notes somewhere you also can have write in rain note paper which would allow you to post a note and even if it rains someone may be able to read it and something that takes up little room but has a high amount of function this this is not a little foil this is a flattened right little pan and you could use this to boil water you could use it to cook in a lot of different even to help yourself wash up in there's really a lot of different tasks that you can use this for and it's so lightweight so flat you should be able to fit it anywhere now if you have even more room you might want to have a cooking kit like this I don't want to take it all out but it has pots and pans fuel little burner on it so you can then include also maybe some freeze-dried food such as mountain house but you need a way to prepare it right and water so you need a food kit so include this if you have the room this is a little heavy but of course there are the titanium equivalents which are pretty lightweight but they're also very expensive well I'm not going to share mine with you but you should consider having an extra pair of socks in your grab and go bag because if your socks get wet you can get pretty miserable and an extra pair of socks really comes in handy and also a change of underwear that can make a world of difference and one thing if you have room in your bag period include some laminated photos of your family members with any identifying information on them and I'm sure you've seen in disasters where they have this big bulletin board and they take a thumbtack and put up a family member's picture and have you found, seen this person? Um, that can really come in handy when you're trying to locate and be reunited with family members or pets. So I recommend pictures to be included, which of course are very lightweight and can be easily included in your grab and go bag. And some of the other things that aren't essential, but I think it's great to have a little sucking candy, you know, like lemon drops or maybe those caramel or coffee nips, something like that. It can give you a real sugar boost and just also boost your morale. And also include a deck of cards. You know, if you do have to spend some downtime, you can play multiple games with a deck of cards and it can really come in handy to help counteract boredom. One other thing you might want to consider including are earplugs. And why do I say earplugs? Well, if you do have to spend time in a community shelter, it can be very hard to go to sleep because there is always sound around you. So plug in a couple of those earplugs and you might get a good night's rest which is very very important in a disaster situation now you know what I told you to grab you grab and go your bag your appropriate clothing your wallet your cell phone prescription eyeglasses your prescriptions all of that stuff you need to grab and go but there's something else that I think you should grab and go with and that's a grab-and-go binder and I have a 
a video on it it's here here somewhere um, which it's really a great thing to make comes in incredibly handy if your house is also damaged due to a disaster because in here you're keeping copies of your house insurance your auto insurance your life insurance your utility bills bank statements I mean a lot of different information maybe all your credit cards what number you call those type of things you keep it in this binder it's a zipper binder you just take it with you and that will save you a lot of trouble down the road so after watching this video I really encourage you to also watch my grab and go binder video well that's it for my first video in the September emergency collab I really look forward to watching all the other videos and I hope you do too so stay tuned this month I will have a playlist again like I said it's up here somewhere on everyone's all the channels videos as soon as they occur I will put them in my playlist And if you want to save that playlist you can also see everyone's video and I think this is going to be a fantastic effort and I hope you enjoy it as always, please share the knowledge. Bye.